Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I made a video a couple days ago, sounding a little bit like congest, a little bit congested, and like full of cough and cold. And I just did some reading because I found out that at night when I was laying down. Um, it would sound like a baby is like trying to come out of me, out of my throat, out of my back. It just sound like while I was sleeping, like a baby, like a cat or something was trying to come out of my body. And what that was, it was a lot of wheezing going on. So I had called my um, doctor to see whether if I can get an appointment and sorry i'm just trying to set the camera up but i called my doctor hold on bear with me bear with me but i i'd called my doctor to see whether if i can get an appointment and it was one day i was going to work in the morning and i wanted to know what did they what they had available and they didn't have anything until like 2.40 in the afternoon. And had I would have took that appointment, I wouldn't have got home until like 5 o'clock because my doctor's office are still up north and I live further south. So I wasn't able to do that. They suggested that I go to urgent care. Well, urgent care is like... It's not like an emergency room, but it is. It still has the same co-payment as an emergency room, which means um, with my insurance, if I go to the emergency room, I have to pay, I'll receive a $100 bill. I mean, not I'll receive a $100 bill. I have to pay $100. That's when the bill comes in for 100 bucks. And with urgent care, the co-payment is like $50. Versus if I would have went to my primary care, I would only have to pay $10. So needless to say, I did not go to urgent care. I didn't want to be faced with a bill. I didn't go, so I continued to take like Zyrtex, which is for allergies. And I also continued to, um, I continued to take uh, um, Benadryl, which is for allergies as well. And... The Zyrtec, like I mentioned before in another video of mine, the Zyrtec does not, um, the Zyrtec actually makes me sleepy. And it isn't supposed to make you sleepy, but it makes me sleepy when I take it. Um, I only had one pill left and I took that yesterday. So today I called my right aid because we don't i don't have a cvs directly in my area the cvs i have is about 20 minutes away from me but there is a right aid here so i phoned the right aid and i asked them if they had mucinex for cough and if they had it in pill form because delsum works really well but it's a liquid and i have a hard time with swallowing it due to robotussing years ago when my mom used to give it to me i just i wound up throwing up before i actually can take it but I got, they said they had me and it was for $18, and it was um, specifically for cough. This I had got from Giant, the supermarket, and this one says sinus mix, pressure pain, and cough. I doubt if this is the right one, because this was $12 versus the other one would have been $18, and theirs was pill form as well, but I believe theirs specified cough that there's one for particularly if you're coughing. Like what I'm doing, I'm coughing and bringing up very little bit of mucus. It's just like this dry heck and cough, like almost to the point where I actually pee a little bit when I cough because I'm coughing so hard and so bad. So these are what the pills look like. They are gigantic. They are huge. They really actually look bigger than how... The film is actually showing it, but I took those and I took them about a half an hour ago and 
quite frankly, I'm not really sure if they're working because I have still been coughing and actually it's like my voice is being taken away. Um, I did just pour a drink, which is the ultimate margarita peach, which is just tastes just like juice. I have water in it as well, but it's really like a juice drink. Um, I don't know if there's anyone out here in the universe that know about having bronchitis and a consistent cough, and you have took in this brand. If you can please comment down on the bottom and let me know how it works, if it's any good, should I continue to take them, or should I actually just go to the doctors or to the hospital? Um, Cause like I said, it's this wheezing sensation, and I've been trying to sing it out, like like sing and stretch my throat to like kind of kill the cough. Like you're trying to think of everything, your own remedies to come up with, but nothing really has been working. I just cracked down and I purchased this tonight. I thought eighteen dollars was absurd. Absurd. I've never heard of medicine costing like that much. That was like over the counter stuff, you know. But it's that kind of stuff is becoming ridiculously high these days. So if it's there, if there's anyone out here who have taken the Mucinex, um, just comment and let me know what you think about this. Um, is it effective? Do it work? I know everything works differently on everyone. Or do you guys ultimately think I should go to the doctors and get checked out? But let me know. Um about what you think about it. It has names on here. Dextromorphine, HBR, cough suppressant. Like there's stuff that I, I can't even pronounce. So let me know what you guys think about this.